if you want to implement a complicated project, you need to have a good architecture and you can use clean architecture. So in this tutorial, I'm going to implement the basic example of clean architecture and I will use ASP.NET version 8 for it. And as you can see in these images, there are different implementation of them. So you can have different layers like application and domain and presentation and persistence and also infrastructure. And in this video, I will implement infrastructure and persistence as one layer. And also we will have domain layer and application layer and presentation layer. And if you want to implement the completed codes of this tutorial, this is it. The link of this it would be in the video description. And this uh, clean arch project is the output of this tutorial. That's it. So let's go and implement clean architecture in ASP.NET. Let's start by creating our blank solution and implement our project. So in first step, let's go here and create a new project. And here I use a blank solution. So here you can see it, blank solution. Let's go to the next. And here you need to add a name here. I will add clean arc for my solution name. And it is in drive F. That's okay. Let's create it. Well, this is my blank solution. So let's right click on it and let's add a new folder with name of SRC. Then I will add a new folder with name of test. This is just to separate my test projects and my source projects. And that's it. So let's right click on SRC and create our first project. So add, uh, please note that I'm right clicking on SRC. Add new project. And here you need to choose a class library. So this is it, a class library. Make sure that you are using C sharp. That's it. Let's go to the next. And here you need to add a name for your project. Mm, I choose cleanarc.domain. So this is my domain project. And let's go next. And here you just need to choose your framework. I choose .NET 8. So I'm using .NET 8, the most recent version of it, and create. So this is it. You can see that this is a simple project. And let's delete this default class. I don't need it. That's it. Let's try to click on source and add a new project. So because I used class uh, library, I had it in my recent projects template. Let's double click on this. And here, let's choose cleanart.infrastructure. So this is my infrastructure project. Let's choose .NET 8 again and press create. And let's delete this default class. I don't need it. And let's right click on SRC, add new project. Again, class library. And this time I choose clean dot application next again .NET 8 create and again let's delete this class name okay so I have three projects domain infrastructure application now let's add presentation so let's add a new project this time I want the web API so let's choose web API and here you need to choose ASP.NET Core web API with this C sharp so let's Go next, and this time I choose cleanart.presentation.api. Next, so here I choose .NET 8 framework, and on authentication I choose none. I will add configure to HTTPS. Yeah, I don't need enable Docker, and I use enable OpenAI support. I don't need this. Don't use top level statement, and I use controllers. Yes, create. So this is it, and you can see that we created all of our projects. So this is the basic structure of our clean architecture project. And this is it. We have four different projects, a domain and an application and infrastructure and web API or a presentation project, which is a web API project. This is, this is the simple structure that we use. Then we need to speak about the dependency injection and the relation of them. But let's go to the next step and see what we can add to our projects. Now, let's talk about what we will need to use in different projects and layers. There are a lot of different articles in internet that talk about this clean architecture. I don't want to talk about all of them. We just implement some basic of them. So first, let's implement the folders and then I talk about them. So in first step, let's close everything. Let's start with our domain. So let's right click, add a new folder, and I will add 
entities folder. Next, let's add another folder. And I will add my repository to this domain. So this is my domain. Next, let's go to the infrastructure. And here, let's add a new folder. So this is the context folder. Then let's add a new folder again. And this folder would be the repositories. And this is it. Next, let's go to the application layer. And here, let's right click and add a new folder. And it would be iServices. And let's add another folder. And it would be services. So we added all of the folders that we want. So in domain, we will implement our entities and I repository, which is the interface of our repository or the contract of our repository. Then inside of infrastructure, we will implement that repositories. And it is inside of the infrastructure project because it's related to our source of database. And then we implement the context inside of our infrastructure project. And that's it. So the, the next project is application. Inside of the application, we will have the I services and also the services. In this project, we will implement our services and our use cases. And this is the interface of it. And we'll implement that interface inside of the services. This is it. And then we have this uh, presentation API application. And, have, and here we have these controllers. Let's, uh, let me show you that. This is the controller. So here you can implement your controllers. And also here, you can inject everything and use them inside of your presentation layer. So let's minimize it. And also let's minimize everything. Now we implemented our clean architecture structure. And also we added folders that shows what we need to use in uh, each project. Now let's talk about dependency injections. I don't want to speak about the dependency injection itself. I just want to show you how you can do this inside of a clean architecture. So if you are using a single project and you don't use this, you can add all of them inside of your program that CS here, but we have a better solution. We will split the DI or dependency injection inside of the projects and then we add the final version of it into this program that CS. I will show you that. So let's do this. The first thing is where we need to use dependency injection. So in domain, we don't have any implementation. We just have the entities and our repositories for now, so I don't need it. But in the infrastructure, let me show you again, I'm implementing this I repository inside of this repository. So here, we need to inject uh, these uh, repositories and our repositories into our services. So how we can do this? Let's right click on the infrastructure and add a new class. The name of it would be dependency injection. Let's add it. So this is it. First, let's press control dot here and let's remove unnecessary using. I don't need them. So this is an internal class of dependency injection. I will change this to a public a static. This must be an static class of dependency injection. Now let's add it. And uh, because we need to use a dependency injection inside of a class library, we need to add a package. So let's go to the dependencies of the uh, here I'm on infrastructure. I right click on dependencies and I will click on manage nuget package. Let's go to the browse here and here let's type Microsoft.extensions.dependencyinjection.abstraction. So this is the package I want Microsoft.extensions.dependencyinjections.abstraction. Let's install it. Yes, apply. And that's it. Let's go to the dependency injection. Let's save everything. Now we have access to what we want. First, I will add the using of Microsoft.extensions.dependency injections. Then I will implement a public a static I service collection of this function. And inside of this function, I will receive the, an instance of this of I service collection of services. And I will return these services. So this is it. This is a simple. A function that allows us to add the dependency injection to our services and we use this of our service collection of services and we return the services and we will use it in program.cs and for the name of it we use this uh, let me show you we are in the clean that infrastructure project so I use the name of this after this add and also I use di so 
you can use any name you want i'm just showing that this is an add infrastructure dio add infrastructure dependency injection and we can use it inside of our program.cs so let me show you how you can do this first let me copy the name of this and let's go to the program that's uh, this presentation api layer first let's right click on the dependencies and let's add a project reference so here i need to add a reference to my infrastructure and also we need to add this later for the application so let's add reference to both of them and press ok that's it now let's go to the program.cs and here first uh, let's add the using of it so i will add using of clean art dot i know infrastructure i need infrastructure for now and now let's go here and before this var app equals builder dot b let's add a builder dot services dot add infrastructure di that's it so using this method we will add a we will add all of the infrastructure dependency injections to our services and now we can simply implement any uh, injections inside of this dependency injection in our infrastructure and then we can use it inside of our program.cs now let's do this for the application because here also we have the dependency injection and we need to use this i services and services so we need to inject these services to the i services infrastructure so Let's copy this dependency injection and right click. So first let me close this and this and this. Okay, now I just have it. Let's copy this name. Let's right click on the application and let's add a new class of dependency injection add. First let's press control dot and remove unnecessary usings. Okay, now let's copy this because this is a public static class of dependency injection and also let's copy all of these that that's okay because we need exactly this we just need to name to uh, change this add infrastructure di to application so we need to change it to add application di and also let's press control that here so we need to install the package of Microsoft that extensions that dependency that abstractions here again, and this will find and install the latest version. And that's installed. Let's check it. So in dependencies in package, it is installed. That's good. Now this is public static class of dependency injections. No, let's copy the name of this and use it inside of program.cs. And here after this, we can use its name. Let's press Ctrl space and it is imported automatically. Yes, and let's add a semicolon. And also you can press enter here to be cleaner. And also here, so build the services dot add infrastructure di and also dot add application di. So this is it. We added a simple di structure to our projects and let's close everything and watch them again. So inside this src. I have application domain infrastructure inside of the application I have this dependency injection class you will inject everything here inside of this add application di and then uh, it will be injected automatically into program.cs services here and also we have it inside of our infrastructure and here again in, we are on the infrastructure project we will add all of the DIs here and then we we'll return this services we are using this keyword so it will use the uh, instance of the services to us and we'll use it in program.cs here and that's it so using this method we will inject everything into our program.cs services so you saw that this is a basic example of clean architecture and you can use this for your next project and if you enjoyed this project, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I hope this video helps you. Have a good time and goodbye.